Hey guys, it's Strong Boy 13 here. Thought I'd take a different area to do my forecast this week. Uh, as you can tell, you know, slight uh, breeze of autumn behind me. Um, what's the weather look going to be looking like? As you know, we're now into meteorological autumn. Well, it's not really going to be like autumn this week until, well, until much like the weekend, I would say. Um, but the weather is generally, well, it's going to be a, a very, turning very warm, especially midweek, uh, temperatures mid to high 20s um, across all areas of the East Midlands, maybe turning a bit fresher and possibly wetter by Friday, a lot of uncertainty, so I'll go through day by day. Today's weather, after a chilly start, it's a lovely day today, much better than yesterday. Click here on, uh, on this link if you want to see the damp autumn day in Leicestershire UK, this was from yesterday's video if you want to have a look at it. For today's weather, well certainly nowhere near damp today, quite a nice day with plenty of sunshine on off throughout the day, feeling pleasantly warm, um, temperatures no heat wave yet, 18 to 19 degrees Celsius, so out of the breeze it feels very nice indeed, so a nice early autumn day. Tonight's weather, it won't be as chilly because last night's temperatures did go down to single figures. Uh, tonight we should see, well, it will be some clear spells, but the air's coming from the south, so that's why temperatures won't be dropping as much. So temperatures probably a few degrees warmer than last night's. Um, 13, 14 Celsius will be overnight low to start Monday morning. So let's go through Monday's weather. Now Monday, it already starts to warm up. Maybe not quite as sunny as tomorrow, probably a little bit more in the way of hazy sunshine I would probably say. Still though, a good day, maybe a bit of a breeze to go with it every now and again. But out of the breeze, it's going to feel warm, warmer than today with highs of 21 to 22 degrees Celsius for Monday. That's into 72 degrees Fahrenheit, so a good day to for tomorrow as well. Then, this is where the big picture really begins to build in on Tuesday. Uh, winds come in from the southeast direction. Any weather systems that come in from the west of England is actually going to be pushed uh, further out of our area. So on Tuesday, maybe, well, for Cornwall, will be, there will be a few heavy downpours around, maybe so the off thunderstorm. Generally, for uh, in the East Midlands and generally across all areas of the England, it's going to be a very sunny and warm to even hot day. In fact, on Tuesday, 28 Celsius is on the cards. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we may even get into the low 30s in one or two places in our region. And actually, if we do get even 31 degrees Celsius, that could be the hottest September temperature for probably half a decade or something like that. So, um, no, half a, half a century, I mean. But yeah, um, but that's what's um, weather's looking like for Tuesday. And Wednesday, very little change. Again, high 20s, even potentially low 30s on Wednesday if you're lucky lots of sunshine again and uh, yeah it's just gonna be a nice gorgeous week it's been Thursday I think it's I mean a couple of days ago I said it was gonna be quite cool by then on Thursday that's changed now I think it's likely to see some sunny clear skies continuing there may be a small risk of a heavy shower probably even a thunderstorm risk in the afternoon uh, or maybe into the evening. Temperature's still doing well at the moment, mid-20s, maybe high-20s possibly, if we're lucky. So another very warm day to come on Thursday. I think on Friday, although temperatures will be lower, there's a lot of uncertainty about how much rain we may get or how quickly this weather system pushing west to east across our country. So on Friday, we could see some heavy thundery rain, maybe potentially some thunderstorms as well. Temperatures will be a lot lower on Friday at the moment. It could still be low 20s uh, if that changes, but still, I think it's likely, to, the thing is, it will likely to be turning quite a bit fresher with probably a westerly breeze to go with it. Temperatures back to the teens on Friday with, yeah, a risk of a thunderstorm. Now, for 6 to 10 long range outlook, there's definitely no heat wave by then. I think if you're up further north um, across our country, you're more likely to see some rain with some showers at times, although occasionally a bit of sunshine. Further south, you're more likely to see the driest weather with probably occasional rain or showers. Temperatures back then, probably back to where they should be for the stage in September, which probably be mid to maybe high teens. So um, that's the weather's looking like. So my main advice for this week, it is going to be hot, so make sure you drink plenty of water, put sunscreen on, but um, it is going to be a nice gorgeous um, week it's going to be. Uh, so enjoy it while it lasts, because by the time we get to next weekend, um, it will be back to where it should be for the time of the year. So enjoy a week of weather. Silly me, I almost forgot because I'm used to doing weather vlogging now. Yeah, we got all three weather vlogging um, days coming up, Monday, tomorrow. Um, I may be busy, so it may be evening, I might get a chance, uh, I may do it on the bus, I don't know, because I'm going to be doing weather vlogging of um, facts about temperature, um, 
which will be, should be, which should be pretty interesting. And just give you some temperature facts. I'm not going to mention the question. Uh, of tomorrow's question will be who invented the centigrade scale. Comment below, and you'll find out next week Sunday. Then on Tuesday, um, I'll be doing a weather vlogging about why seas take longer to cool down. That'll be a good question to um, to answer. Uh, which the question will be, um, what's the highest, well, this is on average, I'm not saying the record breaking, on average, uh, what's the highest sea temperature um, in the UK, unusually, this time of year? You know what I mean, I think you can read the captions better. And for Wednesday's weather vlog, which will be about space weather, the question to the vlog is, who was the first astronaut to travel to the moon, or if not, out of space? I think it might be a pretty easy one, as long as you are familiar with sci-fi and stuff like that, science. So that's the three questions I want you to answer. Comment below and you will find out next week Sunday. So thanks a lot guys, like, comment, subscribe. The storm's now out. Sorry, I'm in a busy Oh, I forgot. I've also forgot to mention about these questions from last week's weather vlog. So let's begin the first one. I think two out of three, you definitely will know them. The first one was um, how many subscribers would you need in order to, um, to earn money from a YouTube account? The answer was, and I think I've mentioned it about at least four times, 1,000 subscribers. So if you got that right, well done. Now, I think this is the question where no, I had no comments from. Tuesday's weather vlog, something to do with lightning and volcanoes. The question is, from last month, in August 2016, which country had a volcano erupted with quite frequent lightning? The answer was Japan. I can't remember what it was called in terms of the volcano name. Then on Wednesday, uh, the third and final question was, how many seconds would it, if thunder was one, if the lightning strike was one mile away from where you are, how many seconds would it take for thunder to reach your area? It was five seconds, so yeah, I have mentioned the spoilers. Now that's all done. Geez, I need to get my brain together. Like, comment, subscribe. The storm is really now out. But keep an eye on next week's vlogs and probably the weather as well. I'll keep you posted.